Jerry at Fair Oaks. How's it going? Oh, hello, Ted. You mean Jerry? Uh-huh. Well, he's out there riding. I've been watching for some time, and so far, Sergeant Alden hasn't had to correct him. I guess he snapped into it then. I hope so. Did he have anything to say about the way I talked to him yesterday? No, no, he didn't, Ted. I left him shortly after that and went over to Mac. Well, how about last night? Well, we didn't talk very much. I could see he was pretty much upset, so I thought it best not to talk to him. Yeah, that was a smart thing to do, I guess. And I can understand how he feels. <laughs> oh, sure, so can I, but... I certainly didn't like his attitude yesterday. You know, Lee, Jerry has the makings of a very good cadet. I'm sure of that. That's why I talked to him the way I did. I know what you mean. All right, all right. Too much lagging there. Hmm, he seems to be doing all right. He handles his mount okay. Oh, Jerry's a good little horseman. All he needs is the spirit. And I think he'll get that. Oh, I'm sure he will. Hey, look at that. Warren certainly knows a thing or two about riding. Yes, I was noticing him, too. He certainly does. Doesn't Splendor look grand out there among all those bays? He's pure white. <laughs> Makes a nice picture, all right. Mm -hmm. Oh, but look at Red. He doesn't seem to take the turns as clean as the rest. I thought he'd show up better than that, especially after playing polo. Well, it's just those last couple of turns that he's missed on. He's been doing all right. All right, we'll work on those formations later. Call him right. Wheel! Oh, that was pretty. They were all together on that movement. <laughs> that was good. True. Halt! All right, line up there. A little more. That's it. Hey, let's watch this. Well, that will be enough formation for a while. It was very good. And I think it's safe to say that we have a very good team lined up now, and you show a lot of promise. I'm very optimistic about our meeting with EMI. <laughs> That's the sort of a talk that gives them confidence. Sergeant Alden gets a lot out of the fellows that way. And I see a couple of satisfied smiles out there. <laughs> we'll start out now on a four-foot hurdle. Now, that may seem rather high for you new men, but we're not going to start jumping over matchsticks. Now, we've got the master of the high jump, so we may as well start right now. Left about. Heel! This is going to be good. Worthwhile well, watching at any rate. <laughs> Look at Jerry. He looks so serious. <laughs> I was noticing now, that. Now, remember, men, don't take off too soon. Give plenty of free rein in the jump and watch your balance. All right. Lead off, man. Go! Hey, that was a nice getaway. There he goes for the hurdle. He's over and clean, too. See, that was pretty. All right, next man. Go. There goes Jim Cooper. Boy, great horseman. Up and over. Oh, pretty. Now the next man. Go. Hey, here goes Jerry now. Uh -huh. Watch this. Looks like he knows what he's doing. Here he goes. Watch it. Up and over. Oh. Hey, that was all right. He's going to do fine. Uh -huh. Now the next man. Go. Gee, that was a nice jump Jerry made. Yeah, there goes Paul Warren. Hey, wait. Hey, he, he's lost, he's lost oh. his balance. Warren, he's oh. jumping. He's, he's falling oh. off. Oh, oh. Gee, gee, that was a bad spell. Come on, Lee. Let's go over there and see if we can help. He fell there. off just as he landed. Oh, Gosh, he's not getting up. Hurry it up, Lee. Come on. I'm Let's right go. behind you. Stay back. Stay back. You're on the bench. I'll handle this. Well, can we be of some help, Sergeant? Yes. Lee, get my horse there. Yes, sir. Oh, you hurt, Warren? I, I don't. My arm. My shoulder. No, 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 no. Oh. Take it easy, old man. Just lie still a second. Straighten your legs out. It, my right shoulder. Oh. Oh. Hold it still. Hold it still. Morrison. 
Right over to the side and get some water. Yes, sir. Up, boy. Hey, there's a little cut on his forehead there, oh, sir. Oh, we'll clean that up. Just a scratch. Now, how did this happen, Warren? I don't know, sir. I, I can't imagine what happened. My saddle seemed to slip just as I was coming out of the jump. Your saddle slip? Wait a minute. Uh-huh. Metcalf. Yes, sir? Go over there and get Splendor. Hold him and see that no one gets near him until I'm finished here. Yes, sir. Here you are, sir. Here's the water. Oh, well, thanks, Mark. Now, here you are, Paul. Now, just take a sip of this water. Thanks. Yeah, that's better. I'll take my handkerchief out of my back pocket, Morris. Yes, sir. Here you are, sir. Thank you. Well, there. How's that? Better. Thanks. I mean, thank you, sir. Oh, you can skip that for now. Uh, see there, Morrison? That's just a little scratch on his head. Yeah, that's all it is. Oh, try your legs now, Paul. Can you move them? Yeah. Yeah, they're all right. Good. Now, how about your left arm? Let's see. Yep, that's okay. You you think you can walk over to the infirmary? Oh, sure. I can walk all right. Help me up, Red. Sure. There you go. Easy now, easy now. Look out for that right arm. Oh, oh. I can send for the station wagon and the stretcher. Oh, no, sir. I, I'm all right. I can walk over all right. Well, then you'd better not waste any time. Let Dr. Campbell look you over right away. He'll probably want to take x-rays. Oh, you go along with him, Morrison. And give him a little little help if he needs it. Yes, sir. Come on, Warren. Oh, look, wait a minute. All right. uh, take your left hand and put it under your right elbow, Warren. You can steady your arm and your shoulder that way. Yes, sir. That is good. Oh, and Morrison, got Dr. Campbell to call me and give me a report on Warren's condition as soon as he finds the trouble. Yes, sir, I will. Ted Metcalf. Yes, sir, here, sir. Oh, okay. Oh, the rest of you men are dismissed for the day. Unsaddle and check in now. On the same time tomorrow. That's all. Troop, halt! Wait a minute. You didn't all take that jump. I want you to go back and start with the first man over again. Now line up. Phillips. Yes, sir? Leave my horse over to the stable, please. I'll tie him up anywhere. Yes, sir. All ready? First man, go! Here's Splendor, sir. Well, uh, just hang on to him and, until all these men make the jump. Yes, sir. Next man, go! See, you'd think they'd be a little leery of that jump after seeing what just happened to Warren. Hmm. And that's just exactly why I'm having them go ahead and take the jump. Yes, sir, I understand that. Next man, go! Now, the rest of you men, space yourselves and follow through. Line up in squads on the other side of the field when you make the jump. Watch it now. All right. The next man. Go ahead. Hmm, nice clean jumps, I'd say. Yes, there's a good bunch of riders. Now, now, let me see this saddle. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, Splendor. Uh-huh. Here, Metcalf. Well, yes, sir, what is it? Now, look. You being the highest-ranking cadet officer and chief of staff, I'm... I'm going to let you in on this. That looks very bad. What is it, sir? Well, in the first place, I want you to understand this. I personally saddled each and every horse that was used in the drill today. I checked and rechecked, watched stirrup adjustments, and had every mount's equipment properly adjusted before the cadets took over their animals. Yes, sir. I'm very fussy about equipment being right, Metcalf. You know, in polo and in jumping, and it's very important. Yes, sir, I know that. All right. Now, look. This saddle on Splendor has has slipped back at least four inches. Say, that's right, it has. Uh-huh. And it most likely slipped further than that. But in landing without Warren in it, it slid forward a bit. And now, now look here. Take a look at this cinch strap. You see where this cinch strap that goes under the horse is marked in the leather? Right here in this third notch. Yes, sir. There's a mark worn in the leather at that point. Right. But you'll notice the buckle isn't where the leather is worn. I think I know what you mean, exactly. sir. Exactly. Someone has loosened this saddle. Someone, after I tightened the cinch, put it down to the fourth notch. I can't imagine anyone doing a low trick like that, sir. All right. But that's just exactly what's happened. Hey, whoa, this is to take it easy, whoa. Yeah, I, I don't like to say this, but, but it's the truth. When I came out of my office in the sable, I saw... Well, I saw Dugan leaving the stalls. He was the first boy out here this afternoon. What's that? Yes, yes, I did, Metcalf. I didn't think anything about it at the time, but... Well, I'm beginning to put two and two together. Hey, wait a minute. Oh? Well, what is it? 
Oh, he couldn't do a thing like that, knowing that it might hurt someone. What? Well, I don't like to say this either, but, well, these things have to be handled justly. All right, all right. What is it? Well, yesterday afternoon, Jugan made a remark to me that ties in with this. Uh-huh. What was that? He said if, if he didn't get to ride Splendor, no one else would. You sure about that? That's what he said, sir. Uh-huh. Well, doesn't look so good for Dugan, does it? Truthfully, it doesn't. Oh, I hate to think he'd do a thing like this, but it looks like a very clear case against him. Wait a moment. Cadet Dugan, dismount and report over here. And the rest of the company is dismissed. Unsaddle and check in. Come back the same time tomorrow. That's all. Are you going to question him, sir? Well, I'm, I'm going to give him a chance to confess. It'll be a lot easier on him if he does. You don't think anyone else could possibly have done it, no, do you? Oh, no, no, I'm sure of it. When I finished saddling those horses, I I went right into my office, and there was no one else near the stalls, except, as I say, I saw Dugan coming out just before the rest of the men got here. Oh, and that's it. Oh, it must be. No one else will ride Splendor if I don't. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what he said. Here he is, sir. Oh, oh Dugan. Yes, sir? You, uh, you were the first man out here today. Is that right? I don't know, sir. I guess I was. I saw you coming out of the stable before the other men got here. You were out back by the stalls, right? Yes, sir. I went out to see Splendor. I brought him a couple of pieces of sugar. I always used to bring him sugar when he was with the circus. He liked it so much, I just... All right, made... Jurgen, all right. That'll be all. You have anything else to say? No, sir. Take your mount back to the stable, unsaddle, and check in. Yes, sir. Come on, Metcalf. Here, I'll lead Splendor back in. Here's the rain, sir. You, uh, you heard that, didn't you, Metcalf? He was back there, supposedly feeding sugar to Splendor. Yes, sir. It really looks bad for him now. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it. It's a shame the boy let his emotions get away from him like that. You know, this is beyond the doubt the worst thing I've ever seen happen. Why, Warren might have been killed in a fall like he took. Oh, I don't like this a bit. It's going to be very distasteful. It's the worst thing I've ever encountered in my stay at Fair Oaks. I just can't make myself believe it's true. Oh, he seems so regular and... Ah, I know exactly how you feel. And I feel the same way. This, this will go pretty bad with him, I guess. Uh, there's no doubt about that. And this poor, innocent horse here is the cause of it all. Yes, and I dislike having Mr. Randall know his gift of this fine animal brought all this trouble. Bad, Metcalf, very bad. Whoa, there's Splendor. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, boy. Yeah, settle down. Whoa. Uh, you, uh, you'd better take over, Metcalf. Yes, sir. Attention! Cadet Dugan. Yes, sir. Step forward, Dugan. Cadet Dugan, report to Major Davis in 30 minutes in full dress uniform. The rest of the troop, as you were. Uh-huh.